Hey, yo, it's Danny, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about something a little bit different. It ain't time pieces, ain't nothing like that. We're talking about EDC, specifically pocket knives or daggers. I've been doing this research for about a couple of months now, and I decided to go with the dagger just because I have a folding knife, but I was concerned. I'm always concerned if I'm going to be able to flip the knife out when I need it, or is it going to jam on me, or if it's going to snap back. You know, it's a lot of concern, so I decided, just like people walk around with one in the chamber, you're going to walk around with your knife ready to go in the event of an emergency. You don't have to worry about if the phone, if it's if the phone. You don't got to worry about if the dag is going to work or not. So I started my search on Google, and the one I want to speak to with you today about specifically is going to be a Benchmade dagger. There's a variety of them out there, and I'm going to go with a 17B KS model family. There's a couple of knives. You get it short, you get it long. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've been looking, like I said, looking at it, looking into it for a while now to find the best price, and I uh, came across that on eBay, of course, and I was satisfied with it online. If you were to go to the actual website benchmade.com, not sponsored. The FYI, they ain't paying me for this. This is my personal decision. This is my own research. Um, you realize that there isn't there's a lot of options but not they're basically the same style before I get into that though I just want to talk to you about or show you what's available online before so you can do your own research to see if this works for you um, looking online I've seen different YouTube videos um, different sources where you can buy it from Amazon eBay uh, Benchmade itself I uh, even wish. I don't even think it's real. I don't think it's the actual company wish. But um and different combos. I'm I led I was leaning toward the combo with the actual practice knife. Just as good as a fidgety thing too, because you know you could have it with you. You could play around with it and get familiar with having the knife. And it's a bit heavier though, so I don't know how that's gonna work. But it gives you definitely gives you that comfort with the having a piece heavy a hard piece of metal in your hand. So that's why I went with the complete combo, which included the knife, the sleeve, and the, I guess, the trainer knife. There we go. You could buy them separate if you want. You could buy the knife by itself, the knife and the sleeve, and then you could buy the trainer, the trainer knife by itself. Um, but when you get a combo, I recommend it. And on eBay, I think on the Benchmade, on the, <clears throat> on the Benchmade, excuse me, on the website, to get that very same as you can see here on the bench site there's a whole bunch of everyday carry knives which is foldable you can put it in your pocket and you don't got to worry about a sleeve I always think that one day I'm going, if, I, if I was to go in my pocket that I'm actually press a button it's gonna like eject and end up stabbing me and they could be pretty pricey too they got little ones depending on the regulation in your state city or town uh, what you can carry and what you can't but there's a lot of options out there I went with the spare point family easy to get access to I can slip it out poke 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 keep it moving right and um, I think that that's a that's a decision that everyone have to make for themselves and how they on intend especially if I'm jogging and you don't sometimes you can't carry your gun with you everywhere but you might be able to carry a knife uh, it came in two color options black and tan and it has black and tan and it includes like I said the knife the dagger and then a practice dagger it's a serrated knife it's coated it's um 440c steel the sleeve has a clip the knife doesn't the knife is just a piece of metal just a blade and um is molly compatible you can put it on your you can it comes with um 55 550 cord parachute cord paracord or whatever you call that and you can actually sew it into your stuff or tangle it in this is the specs you're looking at a blade length of about three inches thickness of about 0.175 overall length is about seven inches a little bit more the handle is four seven of those inches four of it is going to be the handle and the rest is going to be the blade the thickness is about 0.75 like I said and that's I think that's the blade by itself and you get a uh, it's about a pound an ounce 
one ounce, really light. Just for the sleeve. Combines about three pounds, three ounces, pounds. It's about three ounces, the whole setup. Pretty good. Uh, it's a tactical knife, and like I said, it's pretty good for training, and it's really easy to use with with your strap or your your weapon, your everyday carry. Okay, like I said, you could go on eBay and you could find it at a decent price, fifty nine dollars. If you're just looking for the trainer and the sleeve, you can buy the whole set for one thirty five. On the website, the combo is gonna cost you one fifty five. Okay, eBay is the only place I've seen it. I looked in Macari, and um, they have belt knives or B hooks to cut ropes if you're trapped somewhere. This is what I was looking for. eBay had the most variety compared to other than going to the actual website itself. And like I said, you can buy the knife by itself for $89. You can buy the whole combo for $131, which is a steal. If you ask me, for that safety because you never know all right so after you do your research and you get all the information you need the next thing you want to do is order it get it and that's when you have to get <laughs> that's when you have to get that's when you will be introduced to this right here this is the box that comes in and it has it's not padded too well but it's a heavy metal it gives you the knife the trainer knife and the sleeve and about two and it gives you not about exactly two pieces of cord so that you can tie it to your tactical gear or whatever you do you've made your purchase came in the mail you're good to go you get your bench made combo knife thing and you are super straight okay <laughs> and you good all right so what's next you open your package and you see what you're looking for what I would hope is that we receive the same thing that's gonna be a box as usual you gotta do something about these trees for real you get your um I don't know if there's a warranty instruction sharpening kit thingy like how you deal with that all right, you want to get your two pieces of parachute cord when you want to get all militant and tactical. And then you're going to get your weapon, sleeve, and your trainer. I want to talk about, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to talk about the knife first, and then we're going to talk about the trainer. We're going to put this aside. weapon it's a blade fits in your hand you carry how you want how you feel like you're gonna use it okay you uh dag stab slice you know whatever you could carry it two ways in your thumb like so carrying your thumb like so or you can carry it in your pointy finger like so you could rotate the direction you want the blade to be forward if you want it to be like backwards you want the blade to be backwards you want it to be float forward it's, you're only going to get a blade on one side so that's why I'm saying that that's important and so you should know that the blade is only on one side of the knife it's pretty sharp but you're only going to get a you're going to get a serrated at the, at the back of the blade and straight in the front one side very pointy you know, I think it's like a, I don't know how they call it, but all four sides meet at one point. You get some pretty wide wounds in there. And like they said, I think it's about three, three inches long, right? Easy. Um, yeah, you could practice with it. You get used to it. Like I said, depending on where you want the blade to be and how you're going to use it. You could use this for other things if you're in the wilderness and you want to be all Rambo. Go ahead, do your thing, all right? so that's the blade more important to me though and more like for everyone that I believe just how you go to the range and you want to practice using your weapon I believe that this piece of tool is very important to the progression of your or very important to your success I say that because this is going to get you familiar with this it's a little bit heavier it's a little bit heavier 
but it also gives you a good you able to make a lot of the mistakes and find your comfort like with this like if your hands gonna slide you get the you get a good feel for the actual weapon knives are very dangerous I'm be very honest with you and you should understand the tool that you have in your hand I mean people go to jail for this every day and more people die from knife stabbings according to my sources than anything else actually there ain't people walking around shooting folks they're probably going around there stabbing you so you know I, I wanted to carry this I wanted to include this in my EDC just because I know the threats that are out there and if you don't have a weapon or you don't have time to get your weapon this probably is going to be your best bet and that's a fact okay and this is you could get some distance with this you could use your weapon like it says a weapon you know you could like use it as a weapon to jab use this in your other hand stab jab stab jab stab get back pop 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 you're good to go so i wanted to include it in my edc just for that one fact and i think train with this because it gives you the same feel of the weapon it's just as heavy and it's just as hard so you're not going to be dealing with like a plastic and metal. You're going to get, what comfort you feel here is what you're going to feel with the weapon. I say that because I also wanted to it's clear to talk about um, carrying like if you had to use a weapon and training with your non-dominant hand, which is why the trainer is important for me. Using my non-dominant hand is probably my way to go. I want this to be like my this hand and this hand. This would be the package. This should be the package and I know what the blade is gonna do in times if I if I ever have to use it I go to the range I practice with this guy I walk around with this guy or the other I walk around with this guy you know I'm very is walking around using my using this is supposed to help me have that conscious of where the blade is at all times so that I'm not just like in an emergency I'm not just like ah cut or anything crazy you know so that's why I recommend again the trainer especially if you're not familiar with daggers if you if you're used to like fold down knives or daggers or whatever then I'm like you know what go ahead do you but um no I get to practice with this I can hold it like so you can hold it like so get familiar and you know what it's gonna do you know how to control that blade very important for your safety and the safety of the other of others you don't want to just be willy-nilly like swinging this around and accidentally cut someone i mean i'm pretty sure you don't want that because that is listen you get a hard time for just how you get a hard time for your weapon you get a hard time for a knife so i'm just like in my mind this is a no-brainer for someone who's not used to using um knives with them or carrying knives with them all the time and at times if i forget this in the car at home I'm gonna try to always have this on me because you never know when you're gonna need a knife I'm just saying so the, my review off the back is beautiful this is an amazing piece of technology and I believe that everyone should have something a part of it in with them if they're gonna carry if you're gonna carry a weapon you might as well have a knife because if you if your gun goes out of commission out of battery you're gonna need something else I mean you feel, unless you got crazy hand skills you know this don't even impede that you can still use your fist and you can still you don't have to worry about Cutting, I mean, it's a beautiful blade. It's, it doesn't get in the way. Like, it takes a lot of exertion to try to stab yourself with this. And, I mean, it's it's good. I, I, I'm definitely happy I made the buy. You know, I think that this is a beautiful setup. And this is kind of, it's good that they thought about it so that people could train with this blade and walk around with their real blade. And they could be conscious of what's going on. You know, you could walk around with this all day. And you get a feel for the blade. And once you put the other blade in your hand, it's like, oh, I already know. I already know what's gonna happen. So I'm, I'm like, yeah. If you're going, if you're new to the game, I recommend this. Furthermore, um, it's a good feel. As far as quality of steel, it's nice. I mean, it's gonna get the job done. I don't feel like it's gonna bend or anything. Off the prolonged use, um, you might get a little bit of wear and tear if it's scraping against things. Uh, but that's not a fashion show. It's a safety. So, um, it is good. I like it. I recommend it. You know, you're going to get a big old piece of steel. You're going to get a blade. You're going to get a, uh, you're going to get the sleeve that can carry the, the blade. It's pretty solid too. And then you can get, the sleeve also works with the training dagger. Like, come on. 
I don't know if it's as solid with the training dagger. Yeah, it's not. The training dagger is not as tough. <laughs> but it's good enough, man. It's good enough. You can walk around with this in your house and you can get a feel for the blade. All the time. Good buy. Good weight. Good look. I got black because, you know, tan is too obvious. I want to walk around this in my pocket, so I don't want it to be too obvious that it's a blade. And um, the contrasting colors on the tan to me would have been just too much of an attention grabber. This right here, I mean, you can't, you can barely tell what it is if it's sticking out your pocket like this. So, or like this. And that's why I went with the black sleeve, black blade. Train the blade, very important, very important. I believe that this is probably going to be the most important part of your whole. Because this is what you're going to be practicing with every day. Every day you're going to have this guy. Every day you're going to want to use this. This you're going to be carrying with you. Hopefully you never have to use it. But still a knife. There's other things you can do with it. You have to cut something. It cuts. Cuts. No problem. You got to get in somewhere. You want to damage it. Knock yourselves out. It's your stuff. But um, this guy right here is what you're going to be walking around the house trying to get your left hand or your least dominant hand ready to go. I mean, goodbye, good deal. I recommend it. If not, hopefully when you whoever you purchase it from has a return policy. And this blade is pretty old and it's been on the market for a while. So you're not going to be really losing too much money on it. That's all I got to say for this. Benchmade. What is this? The Benchmade combo 17 bks something like that look it up look it up online if you could try if you could get it try ebay i would probably go for makari not paid i just think it's a better experience uh, but they're both they're both going to be quality if it's a, a quality dealer you're going to get a good material i mean they don't make the blade they just sell it good deal i recommend um, thank you csl comment Subscribe, like, or CLS, however you look at it. Thank you for your view. Thank you for your time. Peace.